Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today we're going to geek out with some Star Wars. Over in the Star Wars Room Builders group on Facebook, there was a challenge put out to make your own Andor inspired control panel. So that's what we're doing today. So I've got all my parts cut out and I am going to work on uh, assembling the box and you know I've got all these different pieces. I've got to take the masking tape off and all of that. I've got some different greeblies that I have decided to go ahead and use. Um, you know lots of little bits and pieces and parts and things that I found at the bottom of Goodwill outlet bins. Um, I just love shopping there for Greeblies because you can just take little parts and pieces of things. So um, we're going to just work on this. So I cut all these parts out on my Glowforge and I've had my Glowforge for about two and a half years now and it's still the best thing I have ever bought for my you know, creative space. Um, if you're considering buying a Glowforge, check out the link in the description box below to get up to $500 off of your Glowforge purchase. You will not regret it. I'm not kidding. Um, my Glowforge paid for itself in the first year uh, with their referral program. The referral program gives you cash back for each referral that you get. So um, it's not just a you know it is a very much well worth it uh, referral program um, so go ahead and check that out and if you've been hesitating and not sure you know there's a lot of negative things you can read online about Glowforge but you know when it comes down to it it is the simplest easiest way to get started with um, uh, laser cutting and laser engraving and you know a machine that will pay for itself like literally pay for itself you just can't get that with any other machine you just can't I've tried diode lasers I've tried other co2 lasers and both were just still my favorite like hands down you know so anyway check out that link if you're thinking about uh, buying one it does help me out because I do get referral from that uh, but I would not recommend anything that I didn't wholeheartedly believe in so uh, go check that out okay so I'm going to be using some of this leather sheen it's just an acrylic sealer um, kind of similar to what you can get to seal your MDF uh, your sanding sealer um, but it's a little thinner and it's just what I have on hand so pretty much any acrylic sealer you can use to seal your MDF and I've had this for years so I'm trying to use it up 